Hey, um, I have just left the 166 mile aid station. Whew. This is, this and the next one are the highest two um, aid stations on the course. So I'm breathing a little bit heavy. Um, if you can see, see way, 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 way back there, there's a, there's a Moab down there. <laughs> um, I'm looking for runners coming. There were a lot that rolled into the aid station. So I am high up at this aid station. I'm going to another high up aid station. This is the toughest section of the course and the sun is setting, which I really had hoped and planned to be um, already to the next aid station headed down by the time it got dark. So that plan is not gonna work. Um, so I have my polar buff. I have a wool shirt on already, even though the sun's still out. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I've got two pairs of pants on because um, the only way I could put them both on over these shoes was sitting in a chair, and that's only going to happen at an aid station. That is not going to happen out there on the trail while I'm freezing cold. So, let's see, I got new, new socks. I've got two pairs of gloves. I have two hats. I have two puffy jackets. And I have one over jacket um, after that because it's been cold and the aid station guys said it got to be, it got down to nine last night. So I'm taking it seriously. Uh, I got very cold and when you get tired, you get colder more easily. Here comes my other guy that I was gonna run with catching up to me. So I will cut this short in a minute or so. Um, let's see. I think Jose asked about hydration. How am I, how am I keeping up with it? Uh, it's tough because I'm wearing a, um, I'm using a hydration bladder. You can see the hose right here. And I have no sense of how much I've had to drink. So what I've been doing, what I figured out at Bigfoot is that <clears throat> I fill up my um, water bottle um, from my hydration bladder. So I have some kind of sense of how much I'm drinking and I just stay on, on track. Hey, good. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Um, let's see. Yeah, we've got a long ways to go. <laughs> it's only 166 miles, so we've got like 80 miles left, which does not seem right, but I'm not contemplating it. I'm just moving forward one aid station at a time. So anyway, um, what else, what else? Um... I had a little hallucination a minute ago, which is odd. I don't usually do that, especially in the daytime. Um, I thought I saw the aid station with workers in tan-colored pants before I got there, but it was a pile of rocks. So, um, let's see. I guess that is about it. Uh, I need to get moving. Um, this is another 17-mile section. It's going to take a long time, so anyway... Uh, I would I would love to be further along and be shooting this in a different spot. But anyway, I will check in with you guys later on and uh, tell you what the update is then. Bye.